everyone, I'm Ina Man. Welcome to Higher Ground. Today we have an exclusive interview with the man who wrote the Bible on LNG tanker safety. With all the talk about LNG in this province, you probably have heard some of the concern about the safety of the tankers, which may soon be traveling our waterways transporting liquefied natural gas. Are LNG tankers dangerous? What are the risks? That's what we'll find out on today's episode of Higher Ground. When you're in need of definitive research covering the risk around LNG tankers, you need to look no further than to Mike Hightower from the U.S. Department of Energy's Sandia National Laboratories. He is one of the lead authors of the report Guidance on Risk Analysis and Safety Implications of a Large Liquefied Natural Gas Bill Over Water. Yes, that's the whole title, and it's a monster of a report, one that people on both sides of the debate regard as the Bible on LNG tanker safety. Joining us from Albuquerque, New Mexico via Skype is Mike Hightower. Mike, let's talk about your report. There have been previous studies out there. What made yours different? We started work in 2003. We finished our report in 2004 and we used uh, resources at Sandia that, that most of the authors and the other reports did not have access to. That included uh, information on actual terrorist activity, as well as information on accidental events. So with those, that kind of information, Sandia was able to do what we think is, is a much more credible uh, evaluation of actual threats against uh, large LNG ships and shipping and uh, we have the capabilities at Sandia to do large-scale fire science and fire testing. So we use those resources to estimate the hazard distances and hazards associated with uh, these large spills. So Mike, what are the hazards? What we identified for us is that there were a couple of zones, uh, hazard zones, that um, were of importance for, for people and structures within those near the ships, outside those zones the hazards are relatively minor. So from our analysis, the spills associated with accidental events from these large LNG tankers would be relatively small, and the hazard distances would be uh, something on the order of uh, high hazard areas within a couple of hundred meters of the spill, and probably no hazards outside uh, six, 700, 800 meters from the ship. For the large intentional events that we looked at, where people could uh, actually bring maybe explosives and attack a ship. In those cases, we saw spills that were on the order of um, two or 300 meters in diameter, uh, and that the hazard distances would be generally um, something on the order of really high hazard distances uh, for high hazard areas, 500, 600 meters from the ship and then low hazard areas, uh, anything beyond a mile from the ship. So Mike, if there is a spill, what's the biggest risk? So our recommendation real, real quickly has been that the fires are probably the most likely uh, scenario associated with the large accidents and uh, spills. Uh, so we based our hazard zones upon those hazard distances uh, from fires. But there are a few cases where you could get a just a a spill and a dispersion, not a fire. Uh, and we looked at how far the dispersions would go, uh, dispersions of this LNG vapor, it's a cold vapor. Um, and it could go as much as a, a mile, two miles from a ship. So if it did get into a populated area and it, it was ignited, uh, it would burn back to the ship and then you would end up with a, um, a pool fire also. A burn back? Mike, would that be catastrophic for the people nearby? So what happens is as it burns back, it will, if you were standing there, it would come by you in about a half a second. If it's ignited and moves back toward the uh, pool it is going to be a very short time, less than a second uh, or two seconds. And it doesn't give the, the fire a chance to really do any major damage to uh, your skin or to buildings or to structures. So it's, it's really, uh, a r relatively benign event. So Mike, what's the likelihood of a collision causing a spill? Well, we've done a lot of uh, analysis of that and it really needs to be uh, a, a very large ship impacting a very large LNG carrier and going pretty fast. And I don't think people understand that these LNG ships are about the size of 
uh, a modern aircraft carrier. Uh, they're uh, 900 feet long, 1,000 feet long. They're made out of uh, double holes uh, that are uh, six feet apart, two meters apart. Um, so trying to actually damage and get inside the second hull and into the, um, the LNG cargo tanks is very difficult. So in your opinion, are LNG tankers safe? What we found out was the LNG shipping industry is, is a very, very safe industry. They have some of the best crews. They've had very few accidents. They've had never had an accident that caused a spill. And that's it for a higher ground this week. Make sure to visit our website, resourceworks.com. Sign up for our e-newsletter and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For Resourceworks, I'm Mina Mann. Thanks for watching. Thank you.